Apple just released the first beta of iOS 17.4, and this is a massive update. I'm gonna walk through the new features, including side loading for the EU, a bunch of new emojis, and a couple leaks of upcoming Apple products. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and as I mentioned, Apple has just released the first developer beta of iOS 17.4. This is an unusually packed update full of new features and big changes for the EU users and even some leaks on unreleased Apple products. I'm going to break down everything that is new in this update, so join me as I grab my iPhone, update it with a new beta, and I'll unpack these new features. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Here we are on my iPhone. In my case, on a 15 Pro Max, it weighed in at 6.42 gigs, though your mileage may vary depending on the device that you're actually running it on. Checking out the iOS version specifically, we are running 21E5184i. Uh, as a bit of a reminder, that I at the end will get closer and closer to A as we approach release. The lower down the alphabet, the less stable that it is. So the closer to A, the more stable that it releases. We should see that build number increasing as we get close to the release of iOS 17.4. Starting out with a fun one, iOS 17.4 is adding over a hundred new emojis when things like gender and skin tone are taken into consideration. There are several new like character ones to look at. Some of my favorites include the new Phoenix, there's a new Lime, there are head shaking emojis, and a brown mushroom. So there is a ton to go through here. Uh, check out Emojipedia, they put together a great list of all the new emoji that are launching in this update. I know this is the most groundbreaking of updates here, new emoji, but it's always nice when Apple supports the latest characters coming in from Unicode. If we open the music app, down here at the bottom, there's a new home button. So the home option there on the left, that has changed. Here's what it looked like before in iOS 17.3 and earlier. Previously, it actually said like, listen now instead of home. So I think that makes a little bit more sense. Listen now was a little confusing. I think, I think home just makes more sense. If we open the podcast application, here at the bottom there's a new option. It looks like the Lyric option from Apple Music, but it actually will transcribe every episode of a podcast for you. So you can see, we're starting here, let's turn the volume down on this so I can play it, but it'll be able to sync up the words with the transcription on the screen. And what's even nicer is you can like search through this. So if you're looking for anything specific, you can search through a show notes. So really cool to be able to transcribe every podcast episode, give you the option to read it, copy out that text. I love this huge new feature coming to podcast with 17.4. If, if you need some suggestions for podcasts, HomeKit Insider, that I hear is a great one, covers all the smart home tech that is out there now and gives you a bunch of tips and tricks. Uh, there's Apple Insider Daily, which is like a, a daily podcast covering the news for the day, or just the Apple Insider Podcast, which is weekly. I'm not on that one as much, but it still has a bunch of great content for you. So um, you should check those out and try the new podcast app out with it. Siri has had the ability to respond to messages for the longest time here, and it was able to read those messages back to you. Now there's this new option to add multiple languages. So I can have, uh, you know, be sending in multiple ones, and then when they come back, it'll be able to read them in different languages. So you can add multiple languages here, which is really cool for any multilingual users. This will be super handy that Siri will be able to, to identify and respond with the appropriate language in your messages. Inside of privacy and security, Apple has a new option for contactless and NFC. Right now there is nothing in here, of course, and Apple doesn't even seem to have had an icon added yet for this, so this is still working, but yeah, new privacy option for contactless and NFC added to settings. If we then venture to Face ID and Passcode within settings and scroll down to the recently added stolen device protection. This has been rearranged a little bit. So now it actually goes into a sub menu instead of just the turn off that was there before. When you tap into this, there's a toggle still for stolen device protection. Then you can have it changed to always or away from familiar locations. So you can leave this on all the time now, even if you're at home or when you're away from familiar locations. So now people have an option how secure they want to be with this all the time or just away from places like home and work. Inside of general, then about, there's a new option at the bottom for region, 
We'll talk about this in just a moment. And you'll understand why this is being added, but this is all still very early in the beta process. Just as identifiable region and unknown at the moment, this will surely be updating to show places like the EU versus the US. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll talk about that in a second here. There are also new changes to coming to CarPlay. So CarPlay 2.0 is basically officially launching, it seems, with 17.4. So you'll need a car that actually supports it, but we've seen a bunch of new CarPlay icons included here, and there's like a goodbye script written on screen, similar to Apple's like hello or welcome screen on the Mac. Now there will be a goodbye screen kind of scripting off on the center console of your car. So very cool. I cannot wait to see more car support this new version of CarPlay. Of course, the biggest change here that people are going to want to talk about and I will talk about in another dedicated video is side loading coming to the European Union. Apple is basically complying with a new law that has gone into place inside of the EU. So for EU iPhone users, they will now be able to install apps from third party app stores. Now there's a whole lot of nuance here. There's discussion on, on fees and distribution models and how all of that is getting figured out. It's, it's a bunch and I will talk about it all in another video, but Apple is laying the groundwork for that with 17.4. When 17.4 launches, third party app stores will basically be allowed, be live in the EU. Unfortunately, it's not coming else anywhere but the EU though. Other changes for the EU include the ability to set third party browsers as the default browser on iPhone and Apple will allow third party browser engines aside from WebKit. Right now, all browsers on iPhone are essentially just Safari with a different skin. They're all running WebKit at the core. Now we're gonna have third party engines besides WebKit running third party browsers. The last change for EU users is the opening up of NFC and contactless payments. So you'll be able to use NFC with other contactless payment systems besides just Apple Pay. So we're gonna see a bunch more of that. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, that's probably why we're seeing things like the region inside of settings and that privacy option for contactless and NFC showing up in the privacy section. New features aside, there's also a few major leaks inside of iOS 17.4. There are two unreleased products that Apple has accidentally made reference to in the public facing code. The first is a next generation iPad Pro that will adopt a camera when in landscape mode. So right now, as you know, the camera on iPads is at the top. We saw this with like the 10th generation iPad, I believe. So now Apple's gonna be moving this to the iPad Pros as well. Also, there's gonna be a new third generation Apple Pencil coming. This has been long rumored, but the new code in iOS 17.4 uh, discovered by 9to5Mac seems to point out that Apple will be adding Find My to Apple Pencil. Honestly, this makes a whole lot of sense. I'm surprised this wasn't added in a firmware update just to keep track of your Apple Pencil, get left behind alerts, be able to hopefully track it down. No word if it's gonna contain the U1 chip, but either way, Third generation Apple Pencil coming sooner rather than later. So that about covers it. That is everything new in iOS 17.4 and it is a lot. Let me know what you think of all the new features, all the changes down below in the comments. Uh, I will get back to you and answer as many questions as I can. Otherwise, stay tuned for further hands-on coverage and editorial coverage of the new EU side loading improvements. We'll see.